Hello everyone, Supermando Bros here, and today I got something insane to tell you guys. Recently, like today, Marvel revealed some new Marvel Legends, some new Funko Pops. I know yesterday LEGO revealed three new Spider-Man No Way Home sets, which I will be talking about on my LEGO channel, but I just need to talk about these because this is absolutely insane. We're finally getting stuff for No Way Home, and I cannot wait. We have four Marvel Legends figures that they revealed. So let's take a look at J. Jonah Jameson. Why not? He, he's the one I was not expecting, but yeah. Yes, we are getting a J. Jonah Jameson Marvel Legends figure based off of what he looks like in Far From Home slash No Way Home. Pretty sure he's in No Way Home because J.K. Simmons did say that he is returning for future movies, so of course, I'm assuming he's gonna be in Spider-Man No Way Home. It just makes sense, but there's nothing really interesting to talk about here other than his face sculpt, which looks fine. I don't like the fact that he's yelling, I just think that looks weird, but I don't know, seeing it in person might make it look better. I'm just surprised we are getting a J. Jonah Jameson figure from the MCU. Next up, let's take a look at Doctor Strange. We are getting a brand new Doctor Strange. And what's really interesting here is that he has the Eye of Agamotto, which if you guys don't know, that was what held the Time Stone. He doesn't have the Time Stone because he gave it to Thanos in Infinity War. I wonder if the Time Stone is still in there or not, or he's just using it for decoration. But it just looks really interesting. The face sculpt looks fantastic. Just this entire figure just looks fantastic. I definitely am going to try to get this figure when it releases and the last two are the brand new spider-man suits for spider-man no way home i'm just gonna say spoiler warning just in case you guys don't want to see these brand new suits but first let's take a look at the big suit that i'm seeing in all over the marketing so far even though there's not really that much marketing is this brand new spider-man suit uh, a lot of people aren't liking this suit i actually quite like the suit i think it looks great can tell there's a lot of Iron Spider reuse, which is completely fine with. I don't really care. I don't have that figure, but it's just really interesting. And I wonder what the purpose of this suit actually is in the movie. I don't know. I I really don't know. But I do like the design of the suit. It's definitely different than the classic suit, and also it's a unique spin on the Iron Spider suit. Is it going to be anything related to the Iron Spider suit? I have no idea because we've gotten literally nothing about this movie other than these figures, which somewhat reveal the plot of the movie. There's been some leaks. I'm not going to go into the leaks, but seeing as the Lego sets and some of the figures put it, the leaks are looking pretty true. And if it is true, I. <laughs> My phone just went off. Hold on. Yeah, sorry about that. But yeah, I, I just really like the suit, and I can't wait to see it in action. I love the suit since it leaked yesterday. And the next suit here, which I don't know the purpose of at all, but it's this suit here. I don't exactly know what the purpose of this is in the film, but there's definitely a reuse of the Far From Home suit, I believe. I'm not sure. My phone just went off again. Why Why is this going off? All right, I'm, I'm just going to throw my phone. There. But yeah, I really do also like this suit. It's giving me big anti ox suit vibes from PS4. Is that what it's called? I don't remember exactly what it was called. It was it was the suit he built to fight Doc Ock in Spider-Man PS4. Getting huge vibes from that. And since we do know, possible spoiler here, that Alfred Molina is returning as Dr. Octopus. So this might be the suit he's going to use to fight Doc Ock. I have no idea, but it would be pretty cool if they take that kind of route. And also, it could be used to fight Electro, since we do know that Electro is going to mean this movie, particularly Electro from the Amazing Spider-Man film. So, it's either going to be used to fight Doc Ock or used to fight Electro. One of those, that's all I know. But these figures all look great. I'm definitely going to try to get them all, because why not? But also, we got some Funko Pops we're going to take a look at here. And if you guys don't know, I make Funko Pop videos on the show. Not a lot, but I do. It's a merchandise you know i do anything related to merchandise but let's quickly take a look at the funko pops all right so there was five funko pops revealed let's take a look at the two bland ones the ones i don't really care about and we have mj from no way home not really that much i could say about it. nothing really unique or interesting that can go into the plot of this movie or anything related to this movie but yeah it looks nice i'm not sure if i'm gonna get it or not but it looks nice and then we have ned here and really not much I can say about Ned here. It looks nice. Probably not going to pick it up, but it looks nice. But now let's get into the three Spider-Man suits. Actually, wait, no, there's six revealed. I don't know why I said five. No, I'm missing one. I know I have it somewhere. I don't have it. Spider-Man, No Way Home, Doctor Strange, Funko Pop. The next one here is really interesting, and it is Doctor Strange. Why is my phone going off? 
All right, I don't know why I'm getting a whole bunch of phone calls, giving me a whole bunch of messages. Okay, so hopefully I don't get any more interruptions. But yeah, the next one we have taken a look at is Doctor Strange. This figure is interesting. It does have the eye of Agamotto. But what's weird is that he's wearing casual clothes. I, I don't know why he's wearing casual clothes. Maybe that's how he gets Spider-Man when Spider-Man's on the run. But also, that wouldn't really make sense because he could just create a portal to suck Spider-Man through. Ah! So I don't know. I don't know the context of this, but it's really interesting. So we can just theorize all day. But it's also interesting is that he has a shovel. I'm wondering what the shovel's used for. Maybe he's digging for something. I don't know. I can't I can't analyze this any more than I can. I don't know exactly what the point what this is used for. Now next three are all Spider-Man suits. All three suits will be appearing in the film. First we have the Far From Home suit that is slightly upgraded. I'm saying slightly upgraded because there are some slight modifications to the suit. I wonder if they're gonna, gonna add that into the film or slight spoilers when Spider-Man visits the Sanctum Sanctorum. He maybe works on the suit a little bit. I, I don't know, but it is a slightly different suit compared to the Far From Home suit. But I do like it. I still love the suit. This is still my all-time favorite Spider-Man suit. I love this suit. So I'm definitely gonna try to pick this one up uh, next up we do have the black and gold suit there's no special name for it this is a target exclusive there's actually some less details here than on the marvel legends one the marvel legends one had some red into it this does not either the red is in the final version of the film or it's in concept art because we do know that hasbro whenever they're making movie figures they base it off of concept art not the final like the final design so maybe this is the final design for it which is fine i'm happy by that i don't think the red entirely fits with the black and gold suit i do like this suit and i wonder if this is something he's going to be custom making without stark tech but yeah i wonder if he's going to make this by himself or he's going to use stark tech but i just can't wait to see this in the film i wonder what he's going to use it for but the last one is the most interesting one to take a look at here it's a suit we've seen before so it's nothing new but there's some new stuff to it so let's take a look at that this is the integrated suit so maybe this gives some idea about what's going on in the film but this suit is the same exact suit we saw with the marvel legends figure the lego sets but there are some interesting things to take a look at here especially with the name integrated suit as well as this pop in general so the pop you know it's it's spider-man in a spider-man pose what's really interesting though is that he has some doctor strange like abilities if you can see on his hand there there's the little circle i i don't know what it's called you can see it on doctor strange right there but also he has one on his chest with the webbing design with it so i'm guessing doctor strange plays a huge part in this movie i wonder what that's used for i i wonder how he has the doctor strange abilities i wonder what this is used for i wonder what he's gonna use it for maybe he's gonna fight possible spoiler here doc ock or possible spoiler here electro or maybe this might not be true maybe mysterio returns this is using it to fight mysterio we don't know but also what's interesting is the name the integrated suit now we look up the definition of integrated the definition of integrated is very parts of aspect linked or coordinated that's the official definition of integrated if you did not know that but maybe maybe he combines his far from home suit with the iron spider suit causing it to look like this i wonder if that's what it is because it says integrated suit so clearly it means that he integrated this into something so i'm guessing the far from home suit and the iron spider suit mixed together to form this which is awesome I can't wait to see that on screen. But anyway, what do you guys think about these Funko Pops? I literally am so excited that these are coming out. These are all going to be available to pre-order. I, I can't wait. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comment section down below. And yeah, I will see you guys later. Bye.